Hey guys, what's up? This is Abhishek Gupta and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the Intel processors that is Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 and also I am going to explain you the difference between the different generations of this processor. I can give you 100% sure that after watching this video, your all the confusions and doubts will be clear and the next time you can easily choose your processor according to your requirement. So guys, keep watching. Core i3 supports dual core whereas Core i5 and Core i7 supports quad core. Now the question is what does this core means in processor? Each core acts as a single core. Dual core processor therefore is having two internal processor same in quad core it has four internal processors in it. More cores are useful for multitasking. For example, you can run two applications at the same time each one having access to its own dedicated processor. More cores are also important for multi-threading applications such as video editing and graphics designing. These applications are used as multiple cores at the same time. Hyper-threading Core i3 and Core i7 supports hyper-threading technology whereas Core i5 does not. Hyper-threading technology is a technology which allows a single processor to be act as a two logical different processor. In terms of performance, hyper-threading speeds up the multitasking and multi-threaded application. It's not as fast or as efficient as extra real cores, but it's an improvement over a single core. Turbo Boost Core i5 and Core i7 does support this Turbo Boost technology whereas Core i3 does not. Intel Turbo Boost technology allows processor for automatic overclocking and boosting its clock speed higher than the default setting. The CPU monitor its temperature and when it's turning cool enough, it will apply the overclock on the processor. Now let's discuss about the clock speed what this clock speed exactly means in a processor. In simple language, the faster the clock speed in gigahertz, the faster each core can run. For example, a Core i3-4370 Haswell processor runs at 3.8 gigahertz and Core i5-4590 runs at clock speed of only 3.2 gigahertz. In this case, Core i3 would be faster in running a single threaded application, means in running an application which use only one core at a time. However, in case of running multi-threaded applications, means an application which use multiple cores at the same time, the Core i5 would give you the better performance. And at last it's coming the catch memory. Core i3 is having 4 MB internal catch whereas Core i5 is having 6 MB internal cache and Core i7 is having 8 MB of internal cache memory. Now what does this cache memory means? Cache memory is act as a RAM in your processor. A CPU cache is a hardware cache used by the processor for a computer to reduce the average cost that is time or energy to access the data from the main memory that is RAM. The cache is a smaller, faster memory which stores copies of data from frequently used main memory location. In simple language, the more the cache memory you have, you get the better performance. So guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and click here to subscribe to my channel for more updates. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.